Yeah, come on. Oh, silent. Okay, so we have our experiment. There's our potentimeter, which is through a switchable diode, basically shorts the diode. And there's our triac, and we've got a resistor in on the... Now then, let me work this out. This is on the... I'm just experimenting with uh, some other stuff. Okay, so the resistor's in line with the uh, A2, so it's dropping, and that's going to be it's two six eight six K eights in parallel. So that's about uh, that's about sort of three to four K, and that's a ten K variable. So the wiper is going through the switchable diode to the gate. The uh, MT1 is connected directly to the one side of the pot. On the other side of the pot is going through a resistor to MT2. Okay, so it allows it'd be about sort of I don't know three quarters of the full supply. And there's our output and our voltmeter, which is currently 0.2 volts DC because we're measuring the DC. And it's turned on. Okay. And <coughs> so if I bring the wiper in, you'll see that it, there you go. So I've got like about a quarter if I can tune it a little tiny bit. There we go. So that's a quarter of the full cycle. It's registering RMS, well that's DC, 60 60-ish volts. That pot's actually getting a bit warm now. Whee. There we go. So I can vary it just before things blow up a bit. Obviously I can vary the phase between full and non. I think this pot's a bit digy. And it's almost full. There's a little tiny bit probably there, but it's pretty much full. Okay, on a 10k pot. So full, and this is obviously half wave. Okay, is 107. Okay, volts. And then we can do the same thing. If we switch the diode out, we can then see you get the same thing basically. Okay, so that's about there. That's that's 50 percent to 100 percent. So that's 213 volts, and down to the lowest we can get. This pot's a bit crap, but there you go. To 120-ish volts. And it's oscillating a bit because of that third pole. It's, it's to do with the way the triac works, 160. There you'll see. Half wave to full wave. And as you can see, 50% and effectively you're varying it down to 25% aren't you? so we've got bring it just in, come on, there we go so that's just in, so that's about that's basically 25% power reading about 60 odd volts and then we can bring in the third phase and it's actually over you can see that the middle bit is over because of the way the triac works you see and then we can vary it. You don't see too much difference between the uh, what is effectively the 50% mark and the 100% because the voltage doesn't vary that much. You can see the voltage varying. That's uh, if I can get it to the 50% roughly, 160. See, and full, which is 214 on this, measured across the uh, output. But it's there, you know, it gives us a degree of control up from down to 60 volts ish, you see, isn't it? That's 6, 70, and there's 107. Okay, and on a full wave, the minimum that we can get is 160 through to 212. See? And that pot is getting a bit hot. <sighs> so we're there. You know, we've got the trike itself's cold, but I think that looks a bit on the warm side, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a little bit. I can feel it on the shaft. So, uh, yeah, we've got something. Gone through a few things. These are good. It's a little... Uh, might be a pick replacement board, because it uses USB. And um, it's got... Uh, we've got some PWM connections, top, right, 
and our analog inputs, bottom right. So that would make a good board, I think. Anyway, night night.